back, everyone. We're joined now by the director of the Bangor International Airport, Jose Saavedra. Jose, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you. Uh, and first of all, I want to talk about uh, some really big projects in the works at the airport. Uh, we have uh, major uh, rehauls coming to the uh, runway and also the terminal. So let's talk about uh, the runway project first. Yeah, absolutely. So the runway project, this is the second year that we've attempted to uh, kick off this project. Uh, we were successful at getting a bid uh, this year, and so the project is set to start mobilization April 1st, and a couple of uh, runway closures that will start uh, April 29th. So minor impacts to the uh, traveling public, uh, but when we have a runway the size of ours and a single runway operation, um, those are the type of things that we can expect. And when you say minor impacts to travelers, what will that look like? Yeah, so we've been working very closely with the airlines or tenants and all of the key stakeholders across the airport to make sure that the tra uh, traveling public is alerted of the runway closure. So we will have uh, 30 hour closures that will begin on uh, April 29th, and that would be for, four, for a four week period of time. And so, uh, again, as I said, we've been working with the airlines and uh, or uh, stakeholders to make sure that the traveling public is uh, aware of those, those uh, minor changes in the schedules. Wonderful, and uh, let's move on now to the terminal project. Uh, what can you tell us about that? Yeah, so we are also going to be uh, moving forward with the uh, terminal expansion project that is aimed at connecting both or domestic and international terminals. And so that with that project, we're going to uh, be adding an extra hold room that is going to provide additional space for passengers as they're getting ready to uh, embark on their journeys. That's great. And I think a lot of people who traveled at the Bangor International Airport definitely view it as a, a smaller airport. So this might uh, maybe provide some more comfortability for passengers. Absolutely. I think uh, uh, some of these infrastructure improvements that we're making are going to make a much better passenger experience. And is this part of, I'm guessing, some long-term goals for the, for, the in, for the Bangor International Airport? Is there any, are there any other projects uh, maybe further down the line that you're hoping to embark upon? Yeah, so the airport uh, completed a couple years back its master plan, which kind of dictates what the uh, line of projects uh, that will be uh, happening at the airport. And so we're looking at uh, a couple of parking options as well as other developments within the terminal. And so uh, those are uh, projects that are still in the works, but will be coming out at some point very soon. And just quickly touching on parking, because I think that's something that so many people think about when they have to travel uh, by plane. Um, what kind of improvements are you looking at there? Yeah, so right now we are, uh, so our peak season uh, starts in February and goes through April. And so we have uh, some uh, options available for, uh, for the traveling public. And uh, we're looking at expanding and potentially bringing in a new lot into the airport. All right, I think that would be a very welcome expansion for many. All right, thank you so much, Mr. Saavedra, for joining us today to talk about these upgrades, and stay tuned. Your full forecast is coming right up.